Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching for Tech. Not to development is not dead. Few days before, we created video how we can enable the fast boot and the PROM mode on Oxonos 13 for OnePlus Nord 2. Later, developer created the Android 14 based Revolution X ROM, which can be flashable on the top of Oxonos 13 or 11. So, evolution of development began again for OnePlus Nord 2. You can check both the videos from the link given under the video description. Developer Lenny has did the amazing job. Now this build is officially supported and he pushed the another OT update on 20th of the March 2024 which has amazing new changes and the bug fixes. If you are using the old build of Evolution X then you can download OT or stock updater and can install it. But I already downloaded the full OTA so I will manually flash this Evolution X via ADP side load update. So today in this video we will discuss all the new changes and the fixes done by the developers, performance testing and finally I shown some bugs that are still persisting in this update. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. Manual updating process of this ROM is simple, either download the OTA via updater or boot the device into the stock recovery, then tap ADB side load and load the full OTA package. Once flashing gets done, just tap reboot the system, no need to wipe data. If you are flashing this ROM first time or Oxonus 13, then please refer our old video from the video description. So first change you will find in the boot animation where developers added some text for sustaining this oldest ROM from the 5 years in the world of custom ROM. So my device booted with the, all the applications and the data intact by just dirty flashing the update over the last version. Now let's check out the about device details. So this is the same Android 14 with the same easter egg. Evolution X version is the same at .3 Baluth with the same signature easter egg of Evolution X. Security patch of this update is the same February 2024 like old build. So kernel version is downgraded by the developers to the origin 4.19.194 which is more stable one as compared to the old 4.19.295. Build status is still under the beta condition because of some minor bugs that we will discuss in the bug section. Build maintainer and the developer is Linea. Build date of ROM is 20th March 2024 while the old build was on the 15th February 2024. So this build is actually has new source space as compared to the old build for more stability and the performance. Now let's start with the changes and the bug fixes done by the developers in this build. First fix is done for the fingerprint recognition. Some users reported they can't able to set or unlock their device using the fingerprint unlock. Actually, I was able to use the fingerprint in the last build, but sometimes it's not detected in the fingerprint seamlessly. I need to press fingerprint 2-3 times to recognize it. But now, if you press firmly, now it's recognizing and unlocking the device accurately. Next, developer has improved the haptics and surprisingly, they are actually working 90% similar to the stock Oxonos haptics. We can tune the vibration intensity using the OnePlus setting available under the system setting of the device. This one is a major addition which was missing from decades for Nord 2. Next, developer has improved the automatic brightness of the device. Device is now able to set the correct lux values as per the light around the device. Next one is the major fix for this update that is the working MTK client. In the last build this feature is not working but now it's working. It's available under the system setting. By using this, we can tune the different aspects of the device. Next fix has been added by the developer for the Snapchat application. In the previous build, Snapchat application didn't work properly. It can't able to send the messages. But now who gets the dedicated toggle for the Snapchat fix under the evolver and the miscellaneous spoofing tab called as the Snapchat spoof. Except this, we all know that this is the only ROM which has the wide one security level as L1. So we can able to enjoy the Netflix and the Amazon Prime like OT platforms at the full HD resolution. Safety is also working so we can able to use all the security and the banking application in this ROM. 
Next fix has been done for the Android 14 exclusive feature that is new AI generated and the emojis wallpapers. Both the features are working. We can able to generate lots of amazing wallpapers using this feature. Another fix has been added by the developers for the developer setting and the lock screen setting which was getting stuck for some users in the old build. Actually I didn't face such issues in the old build. They are working properly for me. So these are the new addition and the bug fixes done by the developers. Now comes another part that is the performance. In my unbiased opinion the ROM is performing very good. It's super smooth with the good RAM management. But one thing I noticed is that device getting hit it fastly when you start to use cpu intensive task like here i ran the geekbench test while running the test device got hot quickly and started to lag for some time i got score of 1048 and 2578 for the single and multi-core which are lower than the geekbench average database but similar to the results of last build but the graphics opengl and the hookup performance was 4824 and 4822 which is better than the Geekbench average database. So developer has to fix the CPU throttle issue for the Android 14 builds which are causing the quicker hitting and the performance drop during the CPU intensive task for this ROM. Now we will discuss the bugs present in the ROM. First one is the Hey Google. Actually this feature was working in the old build with the on screen mode but not working for the off screen activation. But now it's completely not detecting the Hey Google command on the on screen or the off screen mode. Next issue is for the camera which was present for the old and this current build too. Under the mode setting of the camera, text scanner and the Brino scan both are not working. Text scanner actually makes the camera unusable when you try to use it. To make the camera workable again, we need to wipe the app data under the app setting. Next issue of the camera is for selfie portrait pictures. They are not getting saved in the gallery. Even the portrait shots are not able to properly blur the background. Their quality is well over. So these are the only major bugs I found. Please tell in the comment section if you face any other issues regardless of these. This is all about the new update of official Evolution X for OnePlus Nord 2. Development of our Nord 2 is alive by means of the third party custom ROM. We will get lots of updates regardless of official OxygenOS updates and all upcoming news and updates will be available at our channel till the end of Nord 2. So if you think my work is really helpful to keep your device alive then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for Nord 2. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.